What a beauty evening. Look at this. Sun is going down, but we're gonna fire out some Toby Tuesday. So I wish I would have filmed this last week before I went to Minnesota, but I kind of ran out of time. So I'm doing it tonight. It might be uploaded a little later in the day. Well, I guess today, Toby Tuesday, but uh, yeah. So I posted two videos today, this one and one of the ones from Minnesota. So go check that out. Um, obviously I'm back from Minnesota now, but the videos will be released, you know, through the week up until Friday. I didn't realize my collars all popped up. There we go. Yeah. Maverick, she got a little muddy. Some guy decided to do a donut in front of me, but you know, that's what happens when you go in the war zone. It was pretty crazy out there, especially the day it rained. There was mud everywhere. People were just doing donuts, not giving a care, rolling over everything, but... Yeah, so let's, uh, tons of good questions this week. There was a ton to pick through. I picked uh, five or six there and some interesting ones, that's for sure. So we'll go visit Toby, we'll answer you guys' questions. Then I'm gonna take this thing down to the river, take her through the river for a quick, quick, uh, quick rinse off. Maybe get the mud off the bottom and quick uh, photo for the thumbnail. And then, yeah, we got tons going on this week. Busy week, we're gonna try and jump some cars. I think we're getting a supercharged Mercedes and maybe a Honda or a Ford Escape too. So I've been getting a ton of emails from people who have cars that just wanna get rid of them for the videos, obviously. So I wanna start jumping cars. I think I'm gonna jump the Dodge. I know I kinda of wanted something for the winter, but it, we're so early in the season, I'll just find something, you know, later this year when it starts getting, you know, fall weather, so. Anyways, let's run over to the barn. We'll get Tobes. We'll do Toby Tuesday, and then we'll take this thing for a little, little scoop. Tobes, what are you doing? Go for a ride. Good boy. Get up here. No. <laughs> he wants to go. He wants to go out there. Come on, Tobes. Come on. Come on. Now you just got him confused, Brian. Oh, car right here. Right here. <laughs> Get down there. Oh, uh, oh, Tobes. Come on, up here. Are you able to go down to the track with him right now? Because I can't, I can't have to go lock the gate. Just a perfect night out, that's for sure. Oh, what do you think, Tobes? You have the biggest lean going. <laughs> Straight up, eh? No cares. Anyways, we just got a great photo for Toby Tuesday. I decided to hike into a field in my bathing suit because I'm smart. I don't think I got any ticks though. Should probably check. Yeah, see, we're good. We're good. You good, Tobes? Toby. <laughs> You're funny. You're funny. Anyways, we got some good questions today. So, it's a little breezy. A little breezy out today. Not too bad. What do we have here? Oh, can't get enough of this day. If it's beautiful out today, guys. Or wherever you are in the world if it's nice out get outside and just enjoy this because you never know how long it's gonna last so nice out three tubes loving her loving her to the governor anyways uh questions 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 mm, mud pine i don't know if there's this breeze is too breezy for you guys there it's a little more sheltered in here mud pine did your maverick need a programmer when you put the mbrp system on it no, it did not. Um, MBRP has a dyno and they test everything rigorously before. So I don't think any of their exhausts need a programmer on them. So if you, you know, if you want to slap on uh, like anything on your side by side or truck, uh, the, it should be fine. So like I, had, I just threw that muffler on the old Maverick there and I never had any issues. So yeah, so they're not, they just make a muffler and then just you know, say you slap it on there and she's good to go. They do a lot of testing first. So I think they do like six months of testing of prototypes and all the crazy stuff. So I definitely recommend MBRP and not just cause they sponsor me too. I definitely, I like the sound of it. It's not too loud. It's not that loud, obnoxious sounding. We definitely heard a lot of ridiculously loud quads and side by sides at the, uh, in, uh Minnesota there, but yeah, Clancy12, why don't you hang out with Tyler Summers anymore? I see Tyler the odd time. He's pretty busy, though, with work. Um, he doesn't race anymore. He got rid of his quads, so 
you know, he's grown up. He's uh, he's grown up. So he, he got a bus and he converted it into like an RV style thing. And he's traveling across Canada right now, maybe even North America. So if you guys want to follow his little travel thing, I think his Instagram is uh, the Hopes and Dreams Tour. So you guys can follow him. Um, yeah, follow his follow his adventures. So if I remember, I'll put the I'll put the link in the description. It's Hopes and Dreams Tour, I believe. Uh, the hungry um num um num num num. Where can I get a set of those orange boots? The old orange boots. I'm surprised Dunlap has never called me <laughs> for how much I've advertised those boots for them. Um, so yeah, they're like. I think they're oil rigging boots they're called, but uh, you can get them from Dunlop. Um, obviously any dealers, I believe Mark's Work Warehouse carries them and usually any hardware store has them. They're about 250 Canadian, I believe. So they have a bunch of different styles. They have the orange ones, they have black ones, green ones, but they're definitely amazing boots. That's why I love them. And apparently they're hilarious looking because they're orange and they're steel toes. So that comes in handy. I definitely got a bunch of mosquito bites when I took your picture there, Tobes. You don't care. He didn't even want to do it. He's like, all right, let's get this over with. Oh, what else we got here? Jeff Sigmund. How do you how do you do all your goon riding without stalling it? That is a good question. You know, I've been doing goon riding for years, and even when I'm just normal riding, I sometimes will go out and just goon ride and be an idiot when the camera's not on me. But uh yeah, I don't know. It's just lots of practice, I guess. I do have my idle turned up a little higher so it doesn't stall, but uh, I have stalled it, you know, a million times practicing all the goon riding and stuff. But uh, yeah, I don't know. That's how I do it. Just hold her wide open and lots of practice. Hours and hours and hours of practice, that's for sure. Hey, Tobes? You've been practicing? Hey? Hey? You good boy? Look at the quality of this camera. Crazy thing, just an iPhone. I remember years ago when I was in film school, well, not years ago, what was the year was that? 2000, 2008? Oh yeah, I guess 10 years ago. The cameras they gave us for photography were like two megapixels. Garbage. All right, last question. Alex Morris, are you thinking about lifting the Maverick X3? No, no I'm not. Um, I bought that thing because I like how it's already set up, how it's nice and low and you know, meant for speed and not, uh, not very tippy. I saw lots of lifted Mavericks in Minnesota. I thought they're cool, but you know, I'm not, I'm not buy, I didn't buy the Maverick for mud bogging. I bought it for, you know, ripping trail and doing lots of crazy stuff with it. So no, I won't be lifting the Maverick, but I should be getting wheels and tires for it soon, hopefully within the next month. Sorry, it's getting a little breezy again. There's a dog barking back there. He probably sees you, dog. Probably sees you. So yeah, hopefully get some wheels and tires for it. And then I'm not gonna do much else for it. I might put like a little toolbox on in the back or uh, and then some probably some light bars too but other than that i just like it how it is it's a great machine you know it's great stock maybe i'll put a tuner on it and get it up to 190 horsepower but other than that the thing is fast as freaking hell anyways so why do you even need to but uh yeah what a night oh just beautiful all right tobes it's been a slice we're gonna get you back to the barn and uh i'm gonna go rip the maverick down the river We'll cap this off a little, a little Mav, a little Mav tour. Here you go. Here you go, Tobes. Let's go. All right, let's wrap this Toby Tuesday up with a little, little Mav tour. Little Mav river tour. Oh man, that thing sounds good.
got too much mud off. He got the mud off the tires. Maybe down in there. <laughs> Obviously off the pressure wash that stuff. Beauty night though. I wish this thing was actually clean. We could do a better photo shoot. So anyways, I wrap things up for now. I should we go fishing? Like, look at this. I don't know. Thank you guys for watching as always. Um, go check out the other video I posted today. And uh, check out the links below. And we'll see you guys later. Have a fantastic.